Okay, perfect. Welcome, welcome everyone today. We are so happy to have you here. Um, we are gonna chat about housing. So this is the Travel Nurses Guide to Housing and I am Britt. Um, I'll get into my intro a little bit later, but we also have our um, preferred partner it was Landing uh, here, Torger. Uh, so happy that he could join us today. Um, so yeah, we're going to get right into it, but we're going to go over a few housekeeping rules and things like that. I know that for some people, this events platform um, is a little bit different. So I'll go over all the features so everyone feels comfortable and we'll get right into it. So um, this is just a little bit, um, we're here you, for our platform here, there's a little toggle to the right here, the Q&A section. So if you guys have questions throughout the presentation, just so we don't miss any, if you would just jot those down in the questions uh, Q&A portion there. And if you like a question that somebody may have actually asked, you can go ahead and upvote it so you don't even have to ask it again. I'll get to all of them and we'll go one by one and make sure we answer all your questions today. Um, also in the general, that's kind of where we're getting to know each other. If you do put a question in there, it's okay. Uh, people forget all the time. Um, I'll get to those as well. Um, and if you guys have any comments or anything or want to ask anything else, you can do that in the general section. If you guys um, are having any trouble with your audio or visual, what we suggest is one, using Google Chrome. Two, um, if you could go back out of the event, uh, test your audio and visual and then come back in. And if none of those options work, there is a little help question mark button at the top. Feel free, there are always support people standing by to help you with that, as well as you can DM me. I'll be available throughout the whole entire presentation. Um, if I'm not speaking, <laughs> I'll get to your DM and help you guys out. Um, and then we're just honestly here to listen, learn, and connect um, to get to know each other. Hopefully I'll see some of you guys in the real world soon um, and just learn about housing so we can uh, get the, your best housing option for your next assignment. So a little bit about Trusted. Um, if you're not familiar, we are the place for the modern nurse. So not only do we place nurses in uh, travel assignments all across the country, but we also have a wealth of career resources. So from events like these to live events to help you feel supported and make friends on your assignment, um, as well as blog resources, CEU trackers, um, as, as well as a ton of other things that you know we offer through our platform and our site. Um, but today's event is super near and dear to my heart because housing is one of the hardest things to find and to uh, really just hone in on as a traveler. So I get it. We understand. And that is why we're here today. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to talk about housing options and then we're going to get into landing, um, which, is, which is such a great option, as well as we're going to talk about scams, staying safe and then securing your rental. And then, of course, we're going to have a a Q and A section at the at the end. We love to hear it, Jennifer. Oh well, Torger's here. Look, see, this is what we have. We're here for. I love it. Um, so I am Britt. I am the community manager here, and I've been a nurse for about nine years. I traveled for four and a half, five years. Um, I did uh, hospice palliative care, step down, pick you. I traveled in the CV pick you and the pick you. Um, and then right before coming here, I worked in the COVID ICU. So you name it, I've probably done it. And I've kind of hopped around um, all of the states. Um, again, I'm from, I live in LA now, but I'm from North Carolina. So I get it, nomad life just chose me and I am <laughs> continuing on. Um, fun fact though, is I lived on a surgical ship in Africa for about two months. Um, that's my Instagram handle, handle if you guys ever want to follow me and come hang out with me, um, especially my LA friends. I'm always hopping around, so let's get to know each other. All right, and my name is Torger Philosophus, everyone. I'm the Vice President of Corporate Partnerships at Landing. Um, really excited to chat with you guys here today. I've been looking forward to this event all week, as I was telling Britt. Um, I've been in tech, hospitality, real estate for over 12 years years now kind of building and scaling revenue teams um i'm getting married actually later this year in birmingham alabama i'm not from birmingham uh you can probably hear in my accent i actually grew up in chicago um and fun fact for me i learned to ski before i could walk um and my instagram handle is down there too if you guys want to hang out uh hit me up dm any questions about landing whatever i am here to be a resource for y'all Perfect. Perfect. I love the, you can learn, you learned how to ski before you could walk. I am just amazed at that. 
Yeah, uh, you you know you see those probably uh, p- parents with uh, kids with a leash attached to their back. That was my mom in uh, Aspen, Colorado, just leading me down a mountain. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. So we're going to jump right into it. Um, With housing, these are a few things to consider. Um, What's your budget? I think that that's the hugest thing that you um, should think about when you're when you're trying to find housing. What we always say is that like one paycheck, don't use all four, don't use two weeks worth, try to stay in that budget of, of, of one, one week's worth of pay, um, just because then you can use your, your pay for everything else, but you don't want to be, what do they say? House rich and cash poor. Um, so definitely, uh, think about your budget, um, proximity to work. Uh, can you walk? Can you bike? Is there a train or a transit system? Um, do, are they fully furnished? Do they have appliances like the washer dryer, things like that? Um, sometimes at, uh, when I lived in New York, I had to, uh, schlep it to the, uh, um, the laundromat. So definitely, um, uh, you know, thinking about all those things as well as, um, will you be living with others? Will you have roommates or will you be living alone? Walkability again, um, you know, are you able, to, are you close to gyms, cafes, grocery stores, things like that, as well as parking. Some cities, um, as you probably know, um, are treacherous for terrible parking. Um, so sometimes you wanna make sure either you get a free parking space, it's a driveway, or um, you you pay for parking. I know in LA, you, you have to make sure you get parking. <laughs> so um, just different places, things like that. And then the neighborhood safety and security. Um, a lot of, you know, being around schools, things like that are usually uh, good uh, ideas to kind of live around. And then um, booking housing, uh, definitely you can negotiate. Um, everything is negotiable, um, especially on like Airbnb. Um, you can go offline and actually ask, you know, hey, I'm a travel nurse, fees and, you know, extras they will be happy to do so. A lot of them, um, I know a lot of travel nurses who have actually done this and successfully done this. Um, so again, just kind of saying, I'll be staying here for, you know, a three month stay and I may extend, you know, we all love to extend a lot of times. So um, a lot of times they'll, they'll have that wiggle room for you. Um, as well as just like taking it offline, making sure you call them, email them. Um, and then for hotels and extended stays, uh, if you know that you're going to be booking for a, uh, a long amount of time, you can actually book through the property. And a lot of times they'll have discounts for healthcare uh, workers. Um, I know when I was in Texas, I got um, a pretty significant discount on, on my extended stay that I was staying at there. Um, as well as rewards and referral programs, you can rack up your miles, you can rack up your your credit card points and all of that. Um, financially responsible, just <laughs> you know, within reason. But um, definitely a thing to take advantage of if you know you do need to. Um, some people, what they like to do is they like to stay in a hotel and then scope out the location and then get an apartment or you know a place they look they kind of get the lay of the land and things like that. So you can, those are ways that you can actually uh, rack up those points on the front end or the back end, or maybe you're going on a vacation or something like that. And then you can use those as you're traveling. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to break down a little bit of the housing options here at Trusted. We always want to give you the most options. Um, we definitely, as we said, love landing and that is our preferred partner, but we want you to have value and um, have a wealth of resources just in case, you know. So um, we'll go through a few of these. So hotels, um, again, like I said, a lot of people will stay in hotels prior to. Um, I know that some agencies will put um, nurses up in hotels so you can ask like your your different agencies if that's what works for them. Um, But the pros and cons, of course, there are always pros and cons. Um, Reviews are always available for hotels. You can, you know, book week by week or day by day. Cleaning is always of service. Um, some have discounts for healthcare workers, and then you, um, can always ask for discounts for 30 or more days. Um, again, kind of those rewards points as well. Um, typically though, the cons of this are typically hotels are much more expensive. They're not really the, the, the best option. Um, when you know that you're traveling for an extended amount of time, um, and then also some don't have kitchens and appliances. I know that when I stayed in one before I was, I had to ask for a microwave, you know, or I had to pay for a microwave. You want to know all these things kind of up front and make sure that you're equipped before you make that decision. Um, and oftentimes hotels, as we know, are, are kind of on the smaller side. 
Um, extended stays are a, um, a pretty good option where, again, you have the reviews. There's pretty uh, good flexibility. Lots of locations because they're all over the place. You know, truck drivers and things like that are everywhere, and they, send it, they sometimes say in extended stays. Um, lots of locations uh, no, that you can negotiate discounts. Um, as I said, I got a discount for, uh, for staying in an extended stay. Um, and they typically will have your basic amenities, like um, your kitchen, your refrigerator, your microwave, and things like that. Um, and sometimes they'll even have like uh, cooking wear too as well. So um, cons though, um, sometimes you don't have like the same space or amenities. So you may not have a pool, you may not have a gym, you may not have like, you know, various items that you want in, in your, uh, your stay. Um, and then they also, sometimes they're not the greatest quality as we know, um, you know, and they're not really the greatest, the, the most clean. Um, I know it's a little seedy <laughs> the one that I say that, but uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Um, so uh, understandable. Um, corporate housing is another option. Again, um, some companies actually provide corporate housing for their nurses. Here at Trusted, we give the housing stipend um, and as an expert traveler, you want to take the money. Um, it just, you know, it provides you with much more uh, to be able to do more with your money if you don't take the 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 um, the housing from your uh, company. But uh, just to again give you options here, uh, corporate housing is an option. Again, similar to hotels, there are views available. They're fully furnished, um, and you will get the standard amenities similarly. Typically, corporate housing is very pricey. That's why I was kind of suggesting taking the money because if you say you get three thousand um, dollars, for example, the your your contract will take that entire or your agency will take that entire three thousand dollars. You could find a housing for half of that money, you know. So uh, typically, corporate housing can be expensive, so um, not the the best option. Um, you definitely need to talk to them about cancellation policies because a lot of times if you're getting into something, they want you to stay in it um, because I either corporate housing, they want you to stay in it for an extended amount of time. You know, they're dealing with businesses and things like that. That'll be on contract somewhere for, for a, a lengthier amount of time. Um, and then again, there in corporate housing, it's not really much room for negotiation. It's kind of, it is what it is and you're going to get what you get with, with them. Craigslist, I have actually used Craigslist before. Of course, use it at your discretion. <laughs> All of this is, is with, you know, your own discretion advised. Um, but you can find rooms and houses um, for rent by owners. Um, I've, I got a really great deal. Uh, a pharmacist was actually looking for, uh, for a roommate. Uh, one of her roommates left. So she just needed a sublease for a little bit. So I lucked up in Baltimore. But again, be safe, make sure you check everything and we'll go over the scams later, but just make sure that, you know, we all know what Craigslist is. So just be careful. Um, so you can, um, it is very negotiable. You can kind of chat offline, discuss like pricing and things like that. Um, and then if you have housing, you can also do the same on Craigslist. Um, again, there are definitely more scams on Craigslist as we know. Um, uh, there's not a lot of protection for the actual person who is leasing, uh, the apartment or wanting to rent an apartment. Um, and the lease terms can be a little bit tricky. Um, and the reviews aren't tech are always like available and cumbersome. Um, and then it also may not be furnished again. I found a place, but I, I kind of furnished it pretty cheap. Um, but it was worth it, you know, and you kind of have to just weigh your options in these cases. Facebook housing groups, um, I would say this is a, these are really great resources because even if you don't go through, uh, through any of these prior ones, Facebook housing groups, you can kind of see where people are living, where are other travel nurses kind of like, if there's other travel nurses that actually need a roommate, you know, you may find a home or something like that and you need more people to fill it up. Um, so the gypsy nurse has a great travel nurse housing. I've used it. Um, I've gotten, uh, my San Francisco roommate out of that one, um, travel nurses, places and rooms for rent. And then, um, as well as you can actually type in the city and say like travel nurse housing in Seattle, it'll bring up a group. And sometimes they'll have housing from like, um, co like around college areas. Cause you know, they're always renting, um, and just various things like that, but it has a, a pretty good amount of actual housing options. If you just type in like travel nurse housing or or housing in San Francisco and etc., um, there's tons of groups online again, um, and you can find roommates and things like that. 
Um, again, there you can also uh, place housing requests on there, like looking for housing in X, Y, and Z place. Um, so you can get a lot, a ton of answers, and then people just sending you, you know, their their housing uh, availability. And then um, sometimes there's also travel nurses who are subleasing or um, people who are well versed in, in travel nursing and how we kind of work. So they're also in these groups and they're very negotiable. Um, people to people is always, you know, uh, great. Definitely, again, though, in Facebook housing groups, you can have scammers. You have scammers everywhere, unfortunately. Um, definitely can be sometimes difficult to search through because you have to filter through, you know, all the options and kind of scroll and things like that. Um, not anonymous, so, you know, everybody can kind of see your post. There's no protection from an actual larger company. Um, and then, again, like lease terms and things like that, you want to watch out for those. And then, again, it may not be furnished. Um, other options, of course, are Airbnb, VRBO, Furnish Finders, HomeAway, um, you name it, there's like a ton of them. Um, so uh, reviews are available, lots of housing options. Um, they are negotiable. Um, and then again, you can kind of get those special rates for travel nursing. A lot of people are looking to rent to us. So don't feel nervous about kind of saying who you are and what you do because they, they, they want to work with you um, because they know that, you know, we have steady income. We shouldn't typically, hopefully not get canceled. Um, and, and when we're pretty good tenants. Um, so they also support, you get support from the platforms. Um, I know for me, um, I'll just tell you guys a little story. Um, when I was at Airbnb, I had a rental in Palo Alto before I moved to San Francisco and I went in and it was like, there was no cleaning done. And I swear it was like a crime scene, y'all. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my gosh, what's happening? What has gone on? I immediately called Airbnb and they were like, oh no, we're going to get you out of there. And the actual host put me, put us up in a hotel until everything was solved and figured out and like fixed and cleaned and everything like that. So there's always options there as well. Like don't feel that you're not supported or that you can't call the big companies because you can. Um, so uh, I just, I just always like to say that like, I have been personally supported by Airbnb, so um, it is, you know, a good resource. Um, and then, of course, as we all have known, it's a good search tool. It's easy. Um, definitely a little bit pricier. Um, and you want to make sure about those cancellation policies because they will hike up those fees and you may not be able to get your money back. I know that's happened to me, uh, especially when COVID was happening. We couldn't get our money back and, you know, we were canceled and things like that. Um, as well as the cleaning fees. So that's why we were saying earlier, go offline, you know, message people um, and, you know, ask, hey, are you willing to negotiate offline and get in, you know, the rental without having all of those fees? And then, of course, our preferred partner, Landing. <laughs> yes. And I'm so excited again to be here with you guys. So for those of you that do not know, uh, Landing is a national network of 20,000 fully furnished apartments, homes, condos in over 400 cities across the United States. So if you think of every major metro uh, in the U.S., we are certainly there or will be there very shortly. I don't think we are available in the Dakotas or Wyoming um, and Alaska and in Hawaii, unfortunately, although I'd love to have some landings in Hawaii and, uh, and bounce over there. Um, but really, we're just trying to revolutionize living and, and make it flexible and really address a lot of those challenges that Britt mentioned in terms of the scams, the flexibility, the cost, the security. And I can get into that a little bit more later. But um, what's really unique about landing, too, is reservations can be completely customized to fit your next assignment or left open ended to get that maximum flexibility. Um, Another selling point too is all of our units are displayed in real time availability and pricing. So you don't have to submit a form. You don't have to wait for someone to get back to you. You can go on our website on your own time, find, reserve, and move into a fully furnished home in a matter of minutes. Um, so if you wouldn't mind going to the next slide there. Yeah, so thank you, Britt. So yeah, and again, we're just trying to build the, the world's first global apartment membership brand. So I like to think of this as like Marriott. If you guys have reserved a Marriott or stayed in a Marriott anytime, um, you know that it's going to be kept well, it's going to have that level of quality, you're going to have that standard of service. Um, and you're already set with that you already know about that going in to that hotel. Well, that's exactly what we're trying to create here with landing is a consistent 
fully furnished apartment membership brand. So you know exactly what to expect, no matter if you're staying in Chicago, Dallas, New York, LA, Sacramento, Berkeley, Minnesota, Texas, doesn't matter. It's still that same standard and quality that you can expect every single time. Uh, we were recently just featured in Forbes and named one of their next billion dollar startups, which is really exciting. Uh, and our founder uh, is a serial entrepreneur and sold his last business to Target for half a billion dollars. You guys may have used it or utilized it called Shipped. It's kind of that same day grocery delivery. Um, and that's actually how he got his idea for landing. Just want to bounce to the next one there, Britt. So, yeah, now this is really just kind of outlines exactly how you guys would find a landing and, and settle in. So the process is really straightforward and simple. Essentially, you just go to hellolanding.com. You'd enter your, your city and then your dates. Um, and then you would reserve a unit. What's great is, you know, oftentimes you don't have to pay anything at the time of reservation. We would defer that first month's payment 10 days before you move in. Um, and we have a variety of different payment options from credit card. You can link your bank account. Um, again, to make this really straightforward. So you place a reservation and then it just asks you for some identifiable information. So some verification information to confirm you are who you say you are. So you'll be asked to upload just a photo of your ID, um, you know, provide some recent months pay stubs to ensure you meet the, uh, the income threshold. We require each of our guests and travelers to have 2.5 times the income that they are reserving a unit. Um, and then, uh, we'll list, you'll be asked to list your social security number just to do a quick background check and ensure there's no eviction history or criminal history. Um, but that verification process takes less than 24 hours. Most of the time. So you submit that information. Our team will get back to you right away. Um, and then you prepare for move-in. So you'll be invited to the landing mobile application and it has everything you could possibly need about your housing all right there at your fingertips from the property information how to access the home, the Wi-Fi, when trash is taken out. If you have uh, an air conditioning unit that's not working, how to submit a ticket. Um, it's extremely user friendly. Uh, and what's great about those tickets is, for example, if you had an air conditioning that wasn't working, you could just go right in the app, submit that. It automatically submits that to the property to submit as a work order and then creates a task for our area general managers, which I'll get into in a little bit, to follow up and own. And they are our folks, landing employees that are on the ground in all of our markets, and their entire responsibility is to ensure a world-class experience. So you get ready for moving. 80% uh, of our units are self-check-in available. So you would just be provided with a smart lock code or a lockbox code, and you can go check in anytime after 11, that's convenient for you. We also offer meet and greets though. So again, addressing that point of safety that Britt mentioned, if you're a new traveler to a city or an area that you're not yet familiar with, um, we can actually have one of those area general managers meet you guys at the property and assist with movement. You know, they can provide some recommendations in the area of maybe some restaurants or, you know, things to do outside of work, but it's not required, but it does give that extra level of comfort uh, in security that we are also there to help you. We don't just, you know, send you off on your merry way and expect you to get in. Like um, people come to landing to live, not necessarily to kind of go and get away on an Airbnb or vacation rental. Uh, and we take our experience so serious. It's the most important thing in our entire business is that member experience. And, and those that have stayed in landings, I think can attest to, uh, you know, we will go above and beyond to make sure you do have that good experience. Uh, there are no deposits whatsoever for landing. I'm seeing those check questions from Michelle. Uh, we do not charge an application fee, a deposit. There is no 12-month lease commitment. 98% uh, of our units are pet friendly. We know how important those are for travel nurses. Uh, so you can definitely bring your furry friends. I have a 90-pound, one-year-old English cream retriever, and he is a handful, but I wouldn't go anywhere without that man. Um, and then just seeing another of the questions. We are in Oregon. We're in Portland. Uh, we should be in Eugene uh, uh, later this year as well. Um, and then, yes, an offer, a lot, an offer letter is usually considered uh, an accepted proof of income, certainly signed by trusted or, um, 
you know, typically that's what we see from, from your folks. Um, and then what I wanted to list uh, or showcase here is everything that comes inside of a landing. And it is crazy. Um, and I love talking about this because I moved from Madison, Wisconsin, down to Birmingham, Alabama to join landing. And I stayed in the landing for 18 months straight. And it was the easiest thing. I just showed up with my clothes, a couple pictures of my family, and it, it was seamless. Like you have all those day one essentials from, you know, toothpaste, shower gel, uh, you know, Tide Pods, spray bottle. You don't have to make that two, three, four hundred dollar target run as soon as you arrive. I mean, we've got six stemmed wine glasses, six non stemmed. You're going to have an ironing board, a vacuum cleaner, um, a mop, really everything that you would need in an apartment to make you feel comfortable. And this list is extremely expansive and you can see, you know, some more examples. I'll also highlight some other things. There are smart TVs in every bedroom, in every living room as well, pre-installed with all the streaming apps. Uh, all of our units have a work from home desk or a workstation set up as well and a dining area, whether that's a dining ta room table or bar stools at a kitchen. Um, so again, we have uh, really gone above and beyond to to create this consistent experience in a furnished apartment or home environment. Yeah. Uh, Nancy, we are not in Montana. I wish we were in Montana. Uh, Bozeman and Missoula are very near and dear to my heart. So hopefully one day. Um, and yes, Michelle, you know about those grueling target runs in Indianapolis. So we'll take those off your off your plate for sure. Um, and then I just wanted to showcase again some more of our membership benefits because landing is really unique in this in this instance. So, you know, you can transfer anyway, anywhere in our network with a 14 day notice. You know, say your contract gets cut short and they're shipping you off from Boston to Austin, Texas. No problem. We have 300 plus units in Austin, Texas. You give us a 14 day notice um, and boom, we can transfer your reservation right to Austin. There's no, there's, it's in all of our leases are flexible with no long term commitments. Again, there's no deposits, no 12 month commitments, no leases you have to sign. Um, we have over 20,000 units across the country. So you're not going to find one provider that has this nationwide scale that can really meet all of these needs. Uh, and something that's pretty cool too is we're adding about a thousand new units a month. Um, through our partner network. So we're integrated with over 3,000 different partners bringing on different types of supply constantly. But again, we ensure that this supply meets our quality and our standards because that's really important to us is ensuring that consistent consistent experience from, from move in to move out. Um, what's also unique too is we provide all of our landing members free vacation stays. So if you become a landing member, you get seven free days anywhere in any of our apartments in the United States. So think if you're doing a little a bachelor or bachelorette trip, or you want to do a little staycation or, or weekend getaway somewhere, no problem. We can submit and get you set up with a reservation where you have free stays for up to seven days a year, um, which is really cool too. I've used it for a variety of times, you know, little family get togethers in Atlanta or something. Um, it's nice to stay again, move into a fully furnished apartment, fully stacked kitchen and have everything taken care of. Now, this next benefit is probably the most unique thing to landing. And you talk about a scam or being ripped off. This is exactly how we've gotten ahead of this is we stand by our peace of mind guarantee. So if a traveler, for whatever reason, moves into a landing and they're unhappy, no matter what it is, we're going to first try and resolve the issues. Maybe it's a, a loud neighbor next door or the carpet wasn't as clean to your standards. We're going to try and resolve it. But if you're still not happy, uh, no worries. We'll do a complete refund. No questions asked. And then we'll also try to put you up in another landing uh, that may meet, you know, those requirements that you need. But if not, and you want to go your separate way, no problem whatsoever. We are so confident in our product and our experience that we give that peace of mind guarantee. And you will not find another short term operator or furnished housing provider that gives that level of commitment and flexibility back to our back to our members. Um, and we're here for you. Look, you, you, I know how troublesome it is to kind of contact those big companies and they don't get back to you. You know, sometimes they do. It's kind of a crapshoot. We have these area general managers that are on the ground in all of our top markets. And essentially what they do is they, for lack of better words, they own 100 landing units. So they actually will live on site 
in an area where we have a high density of landing members and units installed, and they will act as an extension of the property management arm. And again, their entire responsibility is to ensure you have a great experience from move in to move out. So when you submitted that maintenance ticket for the air conditioner that's not working, they automatically get a task to follow up with the property the next day. So they're going to that leasing office and knocking on the door and saying, hey, Brit's air conditioner has been out for 24 hours. When are you going to take care of this? And they, you know, you, once you're in front of them and you're face to face, you have a much higher chance of getting that resolved than sending an email. So it's done wonders for getting tickets resolved, providing a better experience, you know, working with our partners. Um, and you'll have that real level of support, like, you know, almost like an extension of trusted team there to support you for your housing needs. Uh, that's what I like to kind of uh, communicate that to partners. And, and you're in control. This is your reservation. You can end it early. You can extend it. Um, you can transfer. You can transfer to a new city. You could transfer to a new unit in the market. Um, and it's really cool. It re really make it easy to find, reserve, and move into fully furnished apartments. I don't know what's the next slide we got up here, Britt, but... Yeah. And just to reiterate why our residents kind of love landing is that national network. There's not one provider that has that scale and all of those units across the country. All booking is done online. You don't have to submit a form, wait for someone to get back to you. It's all instant book capabilities, all at your own fingertips um, that you can reserve in under five minutes. There's no long term commitments or penalty fees. You move into something you don't like it. You're not locked in for three months, paying thousands of dollars. You just submit a a guarantee notice and transfer. It's that simple. Um, and then you have dedicated member experience managers. Again, those are those folks on the ground in the market. They are there to ensure you have a good experience with landing. Um, and we really think of landing as the ability to truly live flexibly anywhere in the United States. And that's our, our real selling point in differentiator. Let me know if you guys can hear this, okay? I can hear some of it, but not all of it. I don't think they could hear it, Britt. Okay. Um, I will try to probably have to link that to you guys and just send it in the email. Um, I'm not sure how to get the audio to work. Because um, oh, it's like working on my end, but I don't know how to make it work. It works, but then, yeah, it doesn't kind of come through. But yeah, we'll be sure to send this out. I have some other videos too that kind of highlight Landy's member experience, and I can definitely share those. Um, I see a couple of questions in the chat I just want to answer is, um, you do have to be a landing member to utilize our network and our platform. Uh, there is a 199 annual membership fee. However, we also have a specific discount code uh, solely for Trusted Health nurses. So Trusted Health 300 will get you $300 off any reservation. Uh, so that waives the annual membership fee and then gives you a little bit more of a discount and then $300 every reservation thereafter. Um, so we definitely have some unique benefits for trusted health nurses as well. Um, and yes, that is Austin, Texas, Michelle. That's one of our biggest markets. Someone also asked is, uh, one, is it in Oregon? And then two, is there a deposit for apartment and or pets? Great question. So yeah, we are in Oregon. We're in Portland right now, uh, and should be expanding to Eugene later this, this year. Uh, there is no deposits for an apartment whatsoever. But sometimes a specific property will charge a pet deposit. Um, however, what we do is we don't pass that cost on to you. We basically take that pet deposit, amortize it over 12 months, and just charge you a monthly fee. So it's, it's a much more um, economical benefit to uh, utilize Landy in that regard than, you know, a lot of these properties, they'll charge a three dollars $400 non-refundable deposit and then a $100 monthly fee. We just take that 
and break it down monthly because, you know, most travel nurses, we only, we understand you're only going to be there for, you know, three months or so. It doesn't make sense to pay an annual uh, nine month deposit. Um, another question is, are there locations Landing provides that are so close to the hospital that you don't need to drive? Would prefer not to have to rent a car all the time? Yes, yes, we do. Um, so one thing that uh, we've started working really closely with the Trusted Health team too is pulling in your guys' data on where your jobs are posted. Um, and then we have our supply team go and target more supply around those areas to better support uh, you guys as travelers. Um, because we know that there's location requirements in terms of how close you have to be to the hospital. And, and exactly like you mentioned, um, you know, oftentimes you don't want to have to rent a car for three months when you're there. It'd be nice just to, to walk to work. I know I would love that. If you use a different agency, yes, you can still use landing as far as the discount <laughs> as far as the discount, it depends on the agency. Uh, we do have some other partnerships set up. Our, our preferred partner is certainly trusted. You'll get the biggest benefit going through trusted. Um, but yes, we do work with other agencies. You can utilize landing anytime. You don't have to be utilize it just for when you have a contract. Um, we've had a lot of people that have just moved all, all their furniture into storage and decided that they just want to travel the United States. Um, so yes, you do not have to only utilize landing if you're with Trusted, but we would love if you would. <laughs> and Trusted would love if you get an assignment with us. <laughs> All right, guys, um, feel free to jot any more questions that you have in the Q&A or the general, and we'll get to them at the end. Um, we're almost there. So just a few more things. And then if you guys think of anything else, feel free to, to jot that down for us. All right, we're going to talk about scams a little bit. Um, so these are some of the frequent red flags, um, that we would just kind of want to, um, alert you to, um, people will definitely go to amazing lengths to appear illegitimate, um, and, uh, really tug at your heartstrings. Um, I know one time when I was renting, I laughed because it was just, I almost got scammed y'all. So that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> um, this lady said that she was blind and she had kids and like all this stuff. And it was just this long histrionic, like, like, um, note. And I was just like, this just seems weird. Like, I don't like, I just don't know. And this is my first assignment. So, um, I was just like, oh, I don't think so. And then again, another one happened and it was a different thing. And then a different one happened. And I was like, wow, this is kind of excessive. But I started to realize there were, um, if you kind of compare the emails and the letterhead, or if you compare like where they're, where they're emailing you from and things like that, you can kind of see where they're trying to scam you. Um, definitely it's Craigslist, Zillow, and Facebook groups are where they uh, most frequently are. And they definitely go straight for your money. Um, if they're asking for money up front, deposits and things like that, and you haven't seen the apartment, you haven't like you know, um, even talk to anybody you know, on the phone or really like had a conversation with anybody, that should be a, a huge red flag. Um, I remember I tried to ask to um, get a, a FaceTime and there was like all these reasons why they couldn't. And they were like, well, just send the money and then we'll send you the key. And, and there's just all these things, but um, little do you know, they're everywhere. <laughs> um, and then there's definitely, like I said, when you start to read the email, they just sound a little funny. There's misspellings. There's odd wordings. Um, they're definitely probably, you know, overseas trying to, to get your money. So just be careful. Um, and then definitely, as someone else suggested in the chat, love that. Use PayPal. Use your credit card. Use um, apps that are protected um, because Zelle, Cash App, things like that, you can't get your money back. And there's no one to actually report it to, and they really won't help or support you. Um, so definitely protect your, more, your money. Um, and then also uh, making sure, again, I, like I, as I said, using your credit card or things like that um, to have a recourse of action. So you, so you have somebody that you can say, hey, this is fraud or you know, scams or things like that. Um, again, get that live FaceTime or walkthrough. Um, any landlord should be happy to do that. Um, if they are not, that should be a, definitely a huge red flag. Um, and then again, use your instincts. Um, when in doubt, just ghost them out because <laughs> um, you definitely don't want to lose money. I know a ton of nurses who have uh, lost money in, in scams. So just um, be, be leery of that. 
And then safety, of course, a lot of us travel alone. A lot of us are, are, are women. Um, so we just want to make sure that you guys are aware. Um, definitely look at the neighborhood crime stats. Um, I did not know one place I lived. It looked perfect. It was great. Literally, as we all know, in San Francisco, break in city. Break-in happened like the, the the second day we moved in and we didn't realize where we were. Um, right up the hill was uh, low income housing and it was a like run down area, but we had no idea because everything down the hill looked perfect and was like so great. Um, but yeah, so definitely uh, look around to see what is around the neighborhood, not just in the area. Um, emergency car kit, just in case you are on the side of the road. Definitely always keep your doors locked. Do not have any, you know, um, items that, you know, uh, you want or like or need, especially not in San Francisco. Um, but um, also get to know your neighbors, say hello um, and everything like that, as well as tell a friend, family member, uh, whatnot, where you're going. Um, and then also just, you know, tasers, things like that, mace, whatever you can do to kind of keep yourself safe, self-defense classes, uh, things like that turn your locations on, um, all that. Um, and then these are just a little bit of tips to help you secure your leases. If you aren't using landing, definitely use landing because as you heard, it's much easier. It's a, it's a much less stressful process. Um, but definitely some things you can ask are, how long is the lease term? Um, if you break the lease, things like that. Um, if you get canceled, what may happen? Will there be a fee? Will you get your money back? Um, are there move-in costs? What are they? What will you be charged for? Um, are there utilities included in the rent? Um, you know, are you going to get charged for water or is that already included? Um, is the security deposit refundable? If you end up, you know, switching assignments or a family member, you know, something happens, um, are you able to get that security deposit back if you do not end up staying at the location? Um, uh, how much notice do you need to give, you know, before uh, vacating, as well as do you require renter's insurance? Some places do, some places don't. Um, when is rent due and how can I pay it? Um, options, you know, um, whether it's a uh, check or, you know, other forms. Um, is it on the first? Is there a late fee? Things like that. Um, do you prorate the rent? You know, we, a lot of times we start halfway through the month or, you know, the last week of the month or things like that. Um, or you just, you know, come in right before your assignment. So can, can you prorate the rent um, as well as what is the policy regarding visitors? I remember one time I had uh, my apartment in Baltimore and I actually had to break this with Airbnb. Um, I had my, my best friends over just for like 10 minutes. And my landlord was like, I need to see the IDs of everyone before you have them over. And I was like, I pay a lot of money to live here. I do not think this is appropriate. I am very big and grown. This is not okay. And I was just like, I don't think this is going to work out. This is just not the place for me. Um, so definitely I advocate for, you know, uh, making sure that, you know, visitors and things like that are acceptable. Um, but yeah, um, I know uh, we that was a lot of information and um, I love all of the tips and tricks and everything in there. I love that landing is just a great resource already. Um, but if you guys have any questions, you can just drop them in the general or Q&A portion. Um, I'm just looking at some of these comments. I love you guys talking in here. Yeah, see, um, I love that, Nancy. You were able to to um, get a good result from asking, just asking, having that conversation. Mm -hmm. Yep, you definitely can. You definitely can can be scammed. Um, but definitely, if you're doing, you're gonna put that deposit down. Just making sure you're secured and you've seen the apartment, um, that you've had multiple, you know, uh, conversations with them, and it is through a reputable source. Um, but that's great. Um, does anybody have any questions? It looks like everybody is pretty a-okay. And also, if you guys have any general questions about like travel nursing or anything like that, I'm, I'm happy to answer those as well. If you guys have any more questions for landing, um, we are here and available. 
Yes. So all of this information, so we are recording this event. So we will send out um, the actual slides. So you'll get the slides and then you'll also get the recording of the event. Um, and then I'm also going to email you guys some resources. So you'll have the Hello Landing page and then you'll also have a few more resources. And I'll try to link that video in there as well for you guys to, to view. Um, there are a few questions. Um, what is the usual monthly rent? Yeah. So the usual monthly rent will depend on a few factors. And that's why it's kind of hard to give an answer. Um, so one kind of the longer commitment you make to landing, the less you'll pay. So like a three month commitment, you'll pay less than like a one, just a one month stay. Uh, and it also depends on the city, right? If you're in New York City, that's obviously going to be more expensive uh, than Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, but we have a variety of different options. We also have on there uh, class B properties, garden style walk ups. Uh, that are on average, you know, a few hundred dollars less per month. Um, so we have a great mix of, of properties and units, whether you want that high rise with the rooftop pool in the class A building or garden style walk up um, that's a little bit more affordable. Uh, we have a nice mix to definitely meet your guys' needs. Um, where is landing not present? Uh, North, South Dakota, uh, let's see, Montana, uh, New Hampshire, Maine, and Alaska and Hawaii. But we, as I mentioned earlier, we are adding about a thousand new units uh, a month. And our new model has allowed us to break into some of those harder to reach cities before like uh, Bozeman, Montana or uh, Portland, Maine. So. Perfect, Michelle. Yeah, that's usually a, a cautionary thing for, for, you know, to make sure, especially because um, sometimes, you know, you're, you may not get paid depending on your agency, things like that. You may, it may be pro rate. There's a lot of things that can kind of happen. So yeah, yeah we, we knew you meant one week. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, that's what I always uh, say to people. Um, you don't, you definitely don't want to, um, do too much, especially because in our world, you know, you can get canceled and things like that. Um, so you just want to make sure that you are financially and fiscally responsible. Um, one month, I would definitely be like, oh, no. <laughs> um, I'd be like, you balling. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys don't have any other questions, um, we we got it done. Um, so we will give you guys some time back. Um, but yeah, I'm still here. If you guys have any, and Twitter's still here, if you guys have any, um, but again, we just appreciate you guys so much for joining us today. Um, we hope that it was helpful. We hope that you learned about a, a new um, housing partner and that, you know, hopefully you'll, you guys will look into landing. I wish it was around when I was traveling. So please, somebody use it for me. Um, I actually might just use it, um, uh, you know, when I go uh, home sometimes. So, yeah, I'm looking into it. <laughs> And then, yeah, one thing I also want to add is, again, thank you guys so much. We do have a raffle for all attendees uh, that are that are joining here. We're going to be raffling off uh, one free month of Landing's Rent. Um, so it's really exciting to get your foot in the door with Landing and try us out. Uh, but as Britt mentioned, I definitely wish Landing was around when I was out of college or, or doing a travel job because, man, it would have just made my life a hell of a lot easier. Um, and that's what we're here to do for you guys is take this burden off your backs uh, especially what you do in the field every single day. Uh, if we can alleviate housing as a concern or a challenge, that's a great step. Um, so again, thank you so much for your time and, and the awesome questions. And while you guys are still here, I'm going to pick the person. I'm just going to do it like not looking. So bear with me. Kristen, okay. Vrorgop, are you still here? Looks like she's still on. Oh no, Kristen, you there? Okay, I'll email Kristen <laughs> and get her this. If um, I don't get it back, I will pick another one um, out of everyone that joined us today. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for coming and definitely be looking out for our nurses week events and other great events like this. 
We'll be having a finance event on um, Tuesday. So if you guys are looking to pay down debt or anything like that, make sure you sign up for that one. Um, and again, thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and a good weekend and good shifts and all the things in between. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>